this time of year it's always great to have a warm and cozy cup of coffee and that is a part of my day so as I get my day started I wanted to kind of just share with you a couple things that I was going on this week my Christmas cactus is really blooming and I decorated a little bit for Christmas because I'm not going to be home on Christmas Day but I always try to put something out a little festive and bold and sparkly so as we come down to the studio let's talk about the papers I need I'm gonna have to do a whole video on using that jelly plate friend um, of mine came over Kathy and we made these beautiful papers oh they're just gorgeous I learned a lot from her so anyway um, let's uh, get the coffee going here and let's have a chat about something that is a little less exciting than jelly plate papers hello my name is Cheryl Wilson and welcome back this week to this week's video I'm really excited about this video might be kind of boring to some because it's um it's about how to wrap your artwork for shipping as you know recently and I'll explain it in the video I had a painting be returned to me uh, after it was used for an interior design from a gallery and it was pretty beat up in fact it was ruined and um, I was really surprised because they should have known better about packing um, they did installations but um, when you see I'll show you how they packed it you'd be surprised so I had several of you ask me how do you wrap a package and so I go into detail um, I show you a package and through the steps of what I do personally and I've shipped art all over the world and I've never had one damage doesn't mean things don't happen I completely understand that and I'll put the list below a lot of the things are uh, from Amazon but there's some from Uline so I'll put the list link below where you can find the supplies it took me a while took me some studying to figure out what the best method was for me and what the safest was for me to wrap my packages and so if you have other suggestions feel free to put them in the comments everybody would benefit from it but um, I got this uh, instruction actually from a gallery that ships a lot of artwork so I just used theirs and kind of tweaked it a little bit so um, I hope this is of benefit to you and um, I just wanted to share it with you especially since several people asked so here we go here's how I wrap a package for shipment hello this is a requested video on how I ship and wrap my packages my paintings and the reason this came about is I recently uh, shipped a piece of art um, via the gallery picked it up I wrapped it shipped it and sent it there and it was their responsibility to get the piece of art back to me they were a reputable gallery but they used a shipping company or actually they used a company that does uh, installations and were supposed to be a reputable installation company down in Miami but when I got the piece of art back, um, I'll show you the, the picture here. All they did was wrap the painting up in loose bubble wrap with a couple pieces of loose tape, threw it in a box that bounced all over the place. And of course, the painting got really damaged. So did the frame. So it was a total loss. So that brought up a couple people asking me, how do I wrap mine? The first thing I do with my paintings, because I don't know where they're going, and I don't know what time of year, I don't know the temperature, and my paintings go all over the world, the first thing I do is I wrap it in what we call glassine paper. Now it may look like it's just like um, plastic wrap, but it's not. It is an acid-free, like a pH balanced paper. You never want to put bubble wrap against the painting. 
The reason why is any humidity whatsoever, the bubble wrap, even if it's on the opposite side, there have been occasions where the bubble wrap leaves an imprint on your painting. And when you sell your painting to someone, you don't want the bubble wrap because it's basically ruined. They're, they're, they're not going to love the bubble wrap that imprints on their painting. If it was meant to be there before you sent it, great, but for the most part, no. So I always take the face of my painting, I put it down, I have all the information on the back of my painting. Now, um, this video is not going to go into the letter that I put in here. Basically, this is going into just how I wrap this. So I wrap it really well in the glassine paper. This does not get into um, my spraying the painting with an archival spray, um, anything like that. I will mention that before I mail a painting, I will ask them what are what finish they want. If they want a varnish, there's some people that don't want a varnish on their painting, believe it or not. But if they want that. I give a matte satin or gloss. I like matte. A lot of times they'll say, what do you think? I like matte. And so I spray, especially if they're putting the painting in a bathroom, I spray a couple coats of the varnish. Now, the next thing you can do, and these are just things that you can collect. And in my Amazon store will be the glassine paper. And there's a lot of supplies in there. A lot of my supplies I have gotten from packages that I've gotten in the mail myself. Um, so the next thing I like to do is put little corners on my painting. Now these are just ones I got from another painting that was shipped to me, like a frame. Because this is actually a 3 quarter, 7 eighths, I think a 3, 7 eighths canvas. So I put it, I put my corners on it and you can get, you can buy these. These are in my Amazon store corners. And then these are from other canvases that I've gotten from like Jerry's and you build these up and you can put those on, but these were smaller. So I put, I, I, I wrap now you'll see, I do. I do a lot to my paintings. I've never had one damaged. I'm not saying that that's not gonna happen to you no matter how well you wrap this up. It can happen, a damage, but um, I also take pictures. So I will take a picture of this before I um, go to the next step and show it because if I ever had to um, go and to a, like UPS, which I do use a lot and say, okay, you damaged the painting. They want proof that I've wrapped it properly before you can go any further. So the next thing I do is since that have, has a glassine on it, I will take the pa painting and these are like styrofoam sheets. Now you can get styrofoam sheets. I've ordered a lot in um, the mail. I've got them from Amazon or anytime you get anything, a shipping product, just tuck these under your bed or something. But I always make sure it's larger than the painting. I could put bubble wrap around this as it is, again, to coat, to give it some protection. If this was a painting with a frame, I would more than likely put bubble wrap because it's going to be uneven, but this is nice and flat. So I'm going to put the foam core over top of this. Now this is where um, you can do a couple things. 
if this were a really large painting and it was four or five thousand dollars you can get these edging in a lot of places and you could put this edging around your painting this <coughs> painting is not that big so I'm not going to do that but you can get edging and use that around your painting this particular painting I'm going to put the foam core another thing you can use is there's bags and I have some over my storage that are like bubble wrap bags that I could take this whole thing and put it in a bubble wrap bag Since this is smaller, I can just add bubble wrap around this. You can get big rolls of bubble wrap. In fact, let me see if this is better. You can get big rolls of bubble wrap. And I will wrap this around now another thing is if it's a um, larger painting you could also wrap this like with a bigger bubble wrap or you could even wrap it a couple times this is a smaller painting so I'm just doing one the big thing is, is you want the front of the painting, which is on the other side, to be completely protected. You could also put a piece of, on the back side, a piece of um, cardboard down inside, but I don't, because sometimes, um, it all, it, it, see, it depends on how big the painting is, uh, how thick it is, these are these steps here that I'm I'm showing you are important steps that you can repeat several layers. So it depends on how large the painting is. Now, because this painting, I want it to stay in the middle. I will wrap And you will do this all around the painting. Now another thing, because one of the things that tends to get hit the most, other than, like this is the front of the painting right here, a couple things I like to do is just, I add another layer of bubble wrap on the top where the, the, the top of the painting is. I mean, there would have to be a lot of a, pressure to poke through all this so on the corners which is a place many times that gets damaged is where I will put these pre-made corners and so you're going to take these corners 
and you're going to get a lot of these. You can order them off of uh, Amazon. I have them in my store. Or even uh, like Uline supplies. I will have a link for Uline where the bags are. And you're going to put the corners on. The corners of this over top of the area where you have added the painting and the foam core and the bubble wrap. So let's add these corners. So I've got the corners on again. Now, if this were a larger painting, you can even add more bubble wrap. At this particular point, this I feel is secure enough. So you're gonna take your box. And the ideal situation is to have a box large enough so that you can take and put down in the bottom of your box some bubble wrap that is going to cover the sides of your painting. So you're going to put some bubble wrap down in there. Okay, so we've got the painting down in there. If this box were to be hit on the side here, it's not gonna touch, you've got the foam core there with the bubble wrap around it. Same way with the top, you've got the bubble wrap there. There's no way that anything, unless it's gonna be an abnormal damage of this box, normal wear and poking is not going to get to your painting. Different things that you can use before you close up the painting is if you've got those pouches of air, you can put that, stuff that down in. You can add some more protection on the top here. This is some of it came in a packing and I could cut this up and fold it and put a piece on the top here the main thing is to have on the sides of the painting no way that any poke can get to your painting so this is a nice secure painting and then you're just going to tape it up One of the final things I do is I put stamps on here. Here's a, this side up. You can either write it on or get stamps. And I always indicate to keep the painting upright. They don't always do that, but it is something that you can do to help secure um, the painting up. It's not lying flat. You don't want the painting flat or something sitting on top of it. This kind of gives an idea that it's this side up. The other thing is, is I always put fragile sticker, stickers on all sides of the box, on all the ends. I use quite a lot of these, not enough to be obnoxious to make them mad at me, but enough to indicate that this is a fragile piece. Well, I hope you got through to the end of this video. I know it can be a dry topic, this type of stuff of wrapping our paintings, but if we want our paintings to get to our collectors, and on our part, we can do the very best job that we can. And so some of these tips, I hope that they really help you. And I just want to also, again, say thank you so much to those that have subscribed to my channel. 
please do a thumbs up if you find this information helpful to you. It really helps my channel. And I know a lot of you have told me they just forget to do the thumbs up. So I'm going to ask you and remind you. It means a lot to me. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed yet, um, I'd love for you to subscribe. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe to the channel. If you're one of my members, even the supporters, the artisan, the master artisan, thank you so much for being a part of my journey with me and letting me be a part of your journey. I really love the master artisan and to um, look at your paintings. I'm really enjoying that. Um, the feedback is really um, touches my heart. I feel like um, you have appreciate the amount of time I put into the reviews. Um, and those that um, are the um, the artisans and the master artisans that are um, getting my extra videos on painting, a lot of training and things like that. I really enjoy the comments I get from you. Um, but thank you for being a part of my journey, all of you out there. And I wanted to say a special um, thanks to Kathy who did this beautiful ornament for me. It is um, alcohol inks. And uh, it was handmade, and she's been following me for quite a while, and she's one of the artisans, but I thank you for the gift. And I also want to thank Mickey. Um, she did this beautiful tote with her art on it, and it's, it's funny because as soon as I got the tote and opened up the package, I didn't know it was coming, um, I recognized her art. Um, so she's also been following the channel and, um, is a master artisan and I've reviewed her paintings and she's really come a long way. And Mickey, thank you for that. Um, she told me it was to, uh, put my art in when I travel, um, like to the beach and things like that. So it's perfect. It's what I'm going to do. So, um, Thank you for your comments and being a part of my world, and I'm hoping to get another video out before Christmas. Um, but if I don't, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Um, just let me know your family's doing well, what you're doing for the Christmas. I'd, I'd love to hear. I, I still try since I'm smaller channel, even though we hit 6,000 this week, um, I try, not, try to answer every single email or every post that someone posts. I answer the members first um, because there's a little um, thing that comes up and says it's a member and then I answer subscribers and um, at this point I'm able to get to even those that are not subscribed and answer your questions and say thank you for leaving a comment and as I grow um, I would like to still continue to be able to do that as much as possible but thank you and have a happy holiday enjoy painting and um thank you just being a part of my world with me